Uh, we're in Rebel Studios to record a seven inch for Atticus. Uh, we've been here for a couple of days and we're just about finishing up. And uh, it just so happened that Cantabats are in town, so in a desperate bid to raise interest in our own band, uh, we kind of dragged them on board. Yeah, it's amazing. I think the setup's ace. Like, we actually couldn't believe it, and we didn't realize that, that uh, your, it's like the main offices are here as well, right? Yeah. So everybody's just like going about their business, and then there's a bunch of scumbags walking around recording music in, a, in a, an amazing studio on the side of it. I thought it was ace. Well, it came about because um, as Atticus have been doing the whole sort of collaboration of shirts and, and releases, I don't know. I've known Tony for a while, and, uh, and he just asked us to do it. And we, we, I guess it's because we've played with a lot of the bands that have been doing it, so we're all around the same kind of scene. And uh, yeah, and I just begged and begged, essentially. I sing on the new Hexus track, Wogo TB. We've only got ourselves to blame. It's pretty hot. Dan felt bad asking me to sing on one line, so we doubled it up. I sing on two now. It's pretty dope. I have no idea. I think Dan knew I was in England the day that he was recording, and he called me up and said, please? Random phone call. But it worked. And here I am. Anthrax, Mars Volta, Major Laser, Prince, just to name a couple. I did, if I didn't know them, I would hate them, musically. But now that I know them, I love them, and I listen to them periodically. Will I get Dan Carter to sing on our album? Put on the spot, no. <laughs> other than change the entire sound of the band, not a lot. But it kind of has, to be honest. I just got to the point where I st stopped worrying about everything and just ended up listening to loads of my old favorite records and realized that at the heart of it all, that's kind of just what I was about and what I wanted to do. So the whole sound of it's changed. But apart from that, no. Okay. Yeah. Well, the thing is, we, we finished up the album and then we toured it for a bit, and then uh, I don't know what happened. I think our van broke, and that was like the reason that we never played any more shows. <laughs> and, uh, and then that was it. So yeah, well, we've done this, and we're already planning on doing another three songs for something else as well. So I would like to just do a bunch of seven inches, and then maybe put it together at the end. Well, yeah, I think the thing is that I think the way that the Atticus are doing it is if you get the shirt, you get a download of the tracks as well. But I kind of, I'm a bit of a nerd because of where I work. I get sent a lot of music and the stuff that I really treasure is the stuff that I get sent on vinyl. If it's stuff that I really love and it comes on vinyl, it's an added bonus. So for me, I don't know. And plus, I'm pretty old. Do you know what I mean? I like, I collected vinyl a lot. So... I just think that there's something tangible about it. Everything's become so throwaway now, which is fine, and I think it's kind of cool on one hand that everybody can just record something and put it out there and people can get it the next day for nothing, which is cool on the one front, but at the same time it devalues everything. And um, so yeah, I just think that a, a, vinyl, a piece of vinyl is a, is a beautiful, tangible thing. I don't know. Well, the thing was, we kind of wanted to try and get this done a bit earlier so that we could have it out around the time of the festivals over summer, play a few of those, and then, and then see what happened off the back of that. But I don't know that we're going to... So, essentially, we need to be looking at some stuff. I think our agent's just sick of trying to plug us on our album. So, you know, we need some new material. I don't know what to say, really. I, all I know is that it just... 
recently I've seen how much that like Red Bull is supporting that thing through the Bedroom Jam and the studio as well. I don't know. I guess I haven't really got any advice for people being in bands. Just try and do your own thing and have fun. Because at the end of the day, the only reason you play in a band is to hang out with your friends and make music. And if you start worrying about everything else, it sucks. <laughs> No, we're done. <laughs> Peace.